Hey everyone, this is Joshua Lamford. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today, we're going to be comparing this tiny Dan Electro Honeytone amp with my Fender 25 watt amp and see if the little amp can even stand a battle with the big one. By the way, if this video gets more than 40 likes, I will do 100 push-ups in a row without stopping. So hit that like button now. But the question we want to answer today is, should you get a tiny 5 or 10 watt amp, or should you spend a little bit more money and get some more watts like a 25 watt amp? So let's jump right in and start this comparison. So for our first comparison, we're going to play some jazz chords in the neck position. Next, we're going to move to the middle position and play some blues with this Soul Food Overdrive pedal. Next, we're going to compare some clean chords on our bridge pickup. So, so far, we've had our overdrive turned all the way down on the tiny Honeytone amp, and it still sounds distorted. But now we're going to see what happens when we turn that overdrive way up. Now, usually, the overdrive and distortion channels on these cheaper amps sound kind of like this. They just, they sound really processed and really artificial, and they just don't sound like the real thing at all. But we don't know that for sure until we try it, so we're going to turn our overdrive and distortion way up and see what it sounds like.
So neither of these are like super amazing high-end amps, but I have to admit, you can get a, quite a few more tones from the Fender than you can from the Honey Tone. The Honey Tone, even when we had the overdrive all the way down, it just sounded distorted in almost every situation we put it in. But the Fender had some really good clean tones. So let me know in the comments what your favorite practice amp is. And if you'd like to see me get more amps and feature them in future episodes, then be sure to hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode.